from Modon. It seems like only a few weeks ago we were standing in the dark waiting for the first rumble as the Route 40 bridge fell. This bridge is part of the larger era-funded I-435 and I-70 expansion. Motorists will be able to reach the stadiums from the north, south, east, and west. New access at I-435 and Route 40 will make 40 a better used highway. Crews have been working at a speedy pace the past few weeks, with most of the work focused on the bridge over I-435 and new pavement on either side of the bridge. The bridge should be complete and reopened to traffic by October 6th, with a full interchange being completed later this fall. For complete details, including updated photos and video of the Route 40 bridge explosion, log on to www.modot.org slash kc and click on major projects. Last spring, the Heart of America Bridge began the transition from a motorist-only bridge to a multi-use roadway with a path for bikes and pedestrians. The project is coming to an end in the next few months. To improve bicycle and pedestrian access over the Missouri River, MoDOT will use the existing bridge for cars, trucks, cyclists, and casual bicyclists and pedestrians. In tandem with this project, the Choteau Bridge is also under construction for a rehabilitation and retrofitting to allow more foot and bicycle access across the river. When completed in 2010, the Choteau and Heart of America bridges will help Kansas City achieve its goal of a phased network of almost 600 miles of on-street bicycle routes within the city. Look for the Heart of America Bridge bike and pedestrian route to be open in early October. Outside of Lone Jack on US 50, MoDOT crews are working on a new full diamond interchange and a new bridge to carry Bynum Road traffic over the highway. Last month, the contractor completed the bridge, the barrier wall, and more than half of the new pavement on Bynum Road north and south of the bridge. Crews expect to open the new structure and remove the crossovers by mid-September. The entire project is scheduled to be completed December 1st. Adding a bridge and ramps on westbound 50 at Bynum Road brings the crossroads to a modern interchange standards and provides safer local access in all directions. Route 150 will open up two westbound lanes at White Avenue in the next few weeks and residents and commuters are looking forward to a smooth transition from a two-lane roadway to a four-lane parkway. As construction continues, we often hear the question, why this design? A big motivator for this type of design and configuration can be summed up in one word, safety. When compared to similar projects around the state, the existing 150 corridor has an accident rate almost twice the state average. The original design is more than 80 years old and doesn't consider the growth in traffic. The new design, however, will enhance roadway safety for decades to come. This project will be completed in stages with the entire corridor finished by 2012. For complete details, click the Route 150 link under Major Projects on www.modot.org slash kc. What started as a blank canvas is now home to a sweeping stretch of highway that will greatly improve traffic flow from Harrisonville to Warrensburg. Two projects on Route 13 will be wrapping up in the next few weeks. The first leg of a new Route 13 east of Warrensburg known as the East Loop will move through traffic away from the stop-and-go congestion in downtown Warrensburg. The Route 13 Gap project will send traffic to the east of the city of Lexington, separating through and local traffic. These projects were designed to reduce congestion on existing Route 13, and both projects have hit some major milestones this summer. A completed roundabout at Route DD is open to traffic by Warrensburg, and paving is in full swing on both new roadways. The Lexington Gap is scheduled to open in mid-October. Residents will be invited to a ribbon-cutting ceremony to celebrate this portion of the project in October. For complete details on these projects and more, visit us online at www.modot.org kc or find us at MoDOT Kansas City on Facebook and MoDOT KC on Twitter. Thanks for listening to KC Connections. Watch for the work zones and drive safe.